Welcome into the first of what's going to be three videos on capturing and purifying wild yeast. This was originally supposed to be one video, but I ended up with just too much video, so I split it into thirds. If all you're interested in doing is lambic style brews uh, using sort of the, the natural bacteria and yeast growing in your neighborhood, this is the only one of the three videos you need to watch. The second and third video are going to talk about how to purify out individual strains of yeast or of bacteria from a lambic style or, or cool ship style beer uh, in order to then purify them into pure strains for future use. So in this video I'm going to cover two different ways of capturing yeast. One using sources from uh, sources such as vegetables or fruits uh, and the other using um, just yeast and bacteria captured from the air. So I forgot to take video of the capturing yeast off of fruit, so some pictures will just have to do. So to collect yeast off of sources like these, you need to first pick stuff that has a good chance of having yeast. And that would be anything that naturally contains some sugar. So that could be flowers in the form of their nectar, honey, uh, believe it or not, deciduous tree bark, because there tends to be a lot of sap inside of these trees. Uh, of course, any fruit uh, and any sweet vegetable. They're, these are all good potential sources of yeast. You then collect them into some sort of a clean container. This, in my case, I use centrifuge tubes, but you could just as easily use a small jar like a baby food container that you had cleaned quite well. Then you want to put uh, clean wort, fresh wort, into that tube uh, and let it sit and let it begin to ferment. Now when I did this, I made a key error, and that was I didn't remove fruit that was floating at the surface, and so I lost a few of my tubes to molds that started growing. So if your, ye if your fruits start floating, uh, make sure you're, you're removing that promptly. Now your second option is to try and collect yeast from the air. So the way I set up this particular yeast capture system is pretty simple. In this pot, I have a little over a cup of um, 10 IBU hopped wort that I prepared a while ago and just froze until I needed it. And I'm obviously um, boiling it to sanitize. And in this pot, I'm bringing to a boil in order, in order to sanitize. Uh, a mesh bag, in this case this is a bag for making jellies um, and as well as a uh, 500 mil, so roughly a one pint mason jar along with the screw lid and the vacuum cap. So these then get assembled. Uh, I squeeze the mesh bag between the cap and the jar with the metal cap on top. That way as it cools the inside stays clean but I can easily remove that um, blocking cap in order to expose the jar to the air when I get to where I want to use it. You then place this somewhere in your yard or in a park or wherever it is that you're trying to capture yeast from. Uh, it's generally late in the evening is the time to do it and you want to leave it there overnight. Uh, let the air currents carry in the bugs and whatever else yeast that you're looking for. And the next morning you then bring it home and swap out the lid for an airlock in order to then allow this to ferment. You want to let this go about a month in order to make sure that any uh, potentially dangerous bacteria in there are killed. And this can then be used either to inoculate a new beer or it can be used uh, to purify uh, pure yeast strains, which will be the topic of the next two videos in the Wild Yeast series. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.